Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Sports Department Podcast. The wrestling guys are back after another month hiatus because nothing good is going on in WWE. So we don't talk about it, and there's no need to do podcasts. So screw that. But we're here to talk about something that's not good anyways. If you're watching this, you know it's not good because you've seen what's going on in the weekly product, and you've seen the card and the fact that it's called Extreme Rules, and there's one Extreme Rules match on the card. And that's it. No other stipulations, no other nothings. One Extreme Rules match for Extreme Rules 2021. But anyways, I'm Stephen Clark with Justin Valentovic and Jesse Norman. And before we get into our predictions for the pay-per-views, fellas, how are you doing tonight? Well, good. What You know what's good about this uh, pay-per-view, Clark? Tell me. This was the first WWE pay-per-view we reviewed on this podcast way back when. A little over a oh, year ago. Horror show, you're right. But it was the first one the we did back when show. it was actually in July when they tried wow. to do a Halloween, you know, horror, summer horror movie type theme. So, so we've hit a year round, technically. Of- uh, a full WWE cycle, essentially, with them moving Yeesh. the goalposts, basically, on wow. the, the year. The but yeah, so uh, we're back. And this card's significantly worse than that one. Yeah, um, and, th- and that was had the swamp fight. Which and was all bad. That. And the Gao Dry Out match. I, I, I like the Swamp Fight. It was different, but the, the Gao Dry Out match was like should have been so much worse than it actually was, but because Roman and Seth were still so good. Or not Roman and Seth, Ray, uh, Seth Ray. and Ray. Yeah. yeah. And Ray wore a little eye patch for a little bit and all that. And then Alistair kind of still rocking the black Ooh. eye paint in AEW. Oh, uh, you're right. Hey, Ooh. Alistair in WWE. Um Malachi is rocking the black eye paint in uh all elite right now, but I'm no, let's, let's talk some wrestling. Um, like I said, pay per view. You, you, you guys know who the champ is by now. Mostly, we're in the end of September now, so it's starting to look. It's looking horrible for Justin. It, it's getting there for me. Um, Jesse's in the lead with eleven pay per view victories. I have seven, and Justin has three. So um maybe did we want to full, fully decide what the what the punishment is yet or What's like punishment the, uh, i thought we were doing a reward not punishment not the punishment the uh the reward i thought we were buying the other part like the, the two were combining for like a t-shirt or for like that's what a, that's what we said multiple like we had kind of mentioned but i just wanted to make yeah. sure yeah um we'll, we'll do that we'll combine for the t-shirt we'll do okay. that okay yeah that works i pulled a we'll daryl strawberry that. dodgers card oh that's, that's where cool. his career went downhill yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, did all the more druggies and stuff. Um, but now we'll combine for the t shirt, and I'm gonna say this now starting 2022, we'll be adding AEW pay per views into the mix as Yay! well. That's entertaining, yeah, yeah, something that's entertaining. Um, now so those will be getting added to the mix next year. I figured it's a little late to add them in this year, but um, those will be added in and more AEW episodes too. Because WWE stinks. Um, all right, let's get into the card. Um, we're going to start off with what's most likely going to be the main event, the only Extreme Rules match on the pay-per-view card, which is Roman Reigns defending his Universal Championship against the Demon Finn Balor. Uh, Jesse, who are you taking and why? Uh, Roman Reigns, because he's going to be the champ when they go to Saudi. <laughs> oh, God. And he, they, that's this, it. This, they they're already gonna, They're going to kill announced. the demon. Yeah, they're going to. first of all, they're going to kill the demon. Second of all, they already announced Roman versus Brock for they Saudi. Have wait, they, they always have waited. do this. No, they always do this. You know, and I think reason- you guys forget because we haven't had a Saudi show in a little while, Thank or at God. least one that was hyped up. They do this all the time. They announced they, the Saudi show yeah. main event way before. Yes, with like two pay-per-views in between. But the fact yep. that this is the only Extreme Rules match is what WWE's new trend is having a themed pay-per-view and then having one match of that theme, you know, hell in a cell. We're lucky. We get two elimination chamber. We're lucky. We get two, but TLC, we get one stream rules. Justin, we get one now I've said this. No, I know you have years. No, no, no. I know, but I it's was like worse, criticized though. for this. I was like kind of criticized for this of saying, I don't like the themed pay-per-views like you original... shouldn't have hell in a cell you shouldn't have no i agree but like the original like they one should night be stand... stipulations yeah i agree the but like the original extreme rules when they brought it over from like one night stand and poured it and kind of made it their own where yeah, every, like that worked. But even it last like year to an extent we had enough stipulations thing. that you know at least made it a variety of matches but yeah no, no uh stipulation pay-per-views need to go like they, like this whole feud with Edge, it has nothing to do with this, but Edge and Seth Rollins of how great this feud is. And it all should be that. put in a cell. Exactly. 
third, third, third mm-hmm. match, you know, the rubber match between the two. You know, Edge won the first one. Seth, like, killed him almost in the second one. Put him in the cell. That's beautiful. That's be- like uh, Hell in a Cell at, like, Backlash or something like that. Like, you don't need, like Jesse said before and Justin said right now, you don't need the theme pay-per-views. Um, but, no, this is Roman and Finn. Finn brought back the demon a couple yeah. weeks ago at the Garden, and they're just going to put the demon right back in the dirt. Yeah, um, so we're all on... Finn. I mean, not for, yeah, for Roman. For yeah, Roman. Not Finn. But it's funny because remember how Vince was like, oh, he wants to save the demon for something special. How is it special if you're just going to bury it and kill it? And then there goes the mystique. They need views. Yep. There you go. They need views. They need Plain views. Simple. Let's get into the next match of the card, which is the Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair, defending her championship against Alexa Bliss. And I'll pick this one first. Um, you know, it, it, it's tough to pick against Charlotte. We've said this plenty of times. But this Alexa gimmick, they're sticking with it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's kind of getting old. But I just but- hope they don't kill two kind of like their supernatural characters in the same night. So I kind of feel like that's what would happen. And I think that's exactly what they're going to do because oh, I'm, of God. course, going to pick Charlotte to win. Um, I can't. Oh, this it. is horrible. I, 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 I'm not I, picking I, against Charlotte. I'm yeah, not. No, I did, I'm not, it, I'm I did it last time. I'm just going against the green. I need some points. Got to try to recover. Justin, you should go every single match against the green. Uh, but, yeah. Point. Just, just mm-hmm. why, why not, right? It, it yeah. doesn't matter. Except the Roman one. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> just... I'm not that stupid, but hey, it, hey maybe fact, oh, it can't be a DQ. Man, maybe it will be a DQ. See, you never know. I so, was going to say, if there's a DQ, though, I feel like Alexa would get DQ'd and then Charlotte would win. Now, here's my little thing. Like Clark and I were talking when we were playing Xbox before, right? There's dirt sheets and speculation that Bray's going to debut in AEW, right? Yeah. Do you think he I brings- thought he couldn't until... Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I say, he, say his gimmick is sort of supernatural, right? Do yeah. you think WWE almost might kill off Alexa Bliss's gimmick as that because they don't want it tied almost loosely and be c- compared to each other? No, I don't think so because I don't think WWE is worried about AEW. Okay. No, I was just, throwing a, just throwing a point out. Oh, they should absolutely be worried. I think they're up their ass already. You heard, you heard what Vince said. They're not competition. They're, they're an well, old here's, here's Here's the thing. It's as much as they are like competition and we want to view them as competition – WWE like can't fail. Like they're no. too big. They're too big of a brand. W- they're they're too big of a brand. It's like the point. NFL, and the MLB, the NBA, and the NHL. Like th- those leagues will never fold. This isn't this isn't WCW and WWE. Get WWE is not going to fold. They don't have. It's not possible for them to fold. AEW needs to continue at this trajectory to even maybe be able to touch WWE for a few like, years. T- uh, try like ten to fifteen years. Like be around longer than WCW. And that's a dub. That's, yeah. that's a win already. That's a um, win. You're yeah. longer than impact. <laughs> yeah. Um, but now Jesse and I are going, uh, Charlotte and Justin going. Yeah, give me Bliss. With Bliss. I, I like the pick. That's probably the hardest match of the night to predict this one, just because, you know, yeah, it's Charlotte, though. But yeah. Whatever. Um, I want this Alexa Bliss to be done. Really? Yes. I, I, I like it, though. I don't, I don't think it works without the Brett. Exactly. Again, it's I, definitely I, something's I said, missing. Yeah, and again, it feels wrong because they literally stole his gimmick and then fired him. Exactly, and gave it to her. I I agree. So, with that. yeah, um, let's get into the SmackDown Women's Championship match let's. now, which is Becky Lynch defending her championship against Bianca Belair. And um, I'll pick this one first since I'm next, and um, I'm I'm sticking with Becky for now. Um, I don't. I just don't see Bianca winning the title back, bringing Becky back, as she says on SmackDown every week, last minute to win the title and she just had it for a month now and uh, i I can see becky winning by like a roll up or some cheap way because they're trying to build this heel becky now it didn't didn't work the last time they basically the fans forced her to turn so how long they stay with it i don't know but 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 it's different no it is it is it's kind of more of you know an asshole of exactly which is she's very good at but i just for trying to win going with bianca just for different sake (laughs) Um, love it. yeah, I love it. I mean, I think also they could get Bianca's belt back just because they did do the whole homecoming thing with her on SmackDown. Was that last week? I think when they were in Tennessee, so they are at least putting a little bit momentum behind her. So I think she does have a chance. Give me Becky. They're about to do the draft. I think they would rather have Becky on Fox than and move Bianca to Raw. I think I th- they're they're gonna move around. Um, a lot probably, of probably Bianca, probably Rhea, 
um, so that you can get those different matchups. Well, so Rhea, Rhea is the tag champion now. She can appear on all brands. She can appear on every brand. She can appear on all brands. She can appear on all of them. That's right. Look at her. What a weird tag team. Her and Nikki Ash. Yikes. They just don't uh, the, a couple of women's that. champions. Yeah. Yeah. Give, yeah right. give me Becky. Yeah, I'm sticking with Becky too. I, I, it, 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 like these matches, like for this card, it's is bad. Just, this card. If there were some stipulations, it'd be a little better. Like even if it's well, like, remember when tables, ladders, and chairs added the stairs to it? Give me a stairs match. I'm with it. Every match should have a stipulation. Yeah. Something. Hey man, thank God they didn't run Becky Bianca at SummerSlam though. So now we can get it on the big four pay per view of Extreme Rules. <laughs> four. <laughs> so bad. Um. Let's follow this up. There's only three more matches, so each of us get to start God. with one more. And we have now the United States Championship match, which is a triple threat, which is, I guess, kind of extreme because you can. There's no disqualifications and no. Jeff's jumping off nothing. of something high, like at least that's oh, we're guaranteed yeah. something. At least we're guaranteed that. Yeah, we're getting that. That'd be fun. Uh, we have Damian Priest defending his U.S. title against Sheamus and Jeff. A couple of geezers in their own right. Jesse, who are you picking and why? Priest. He just won it. They shouldn't take it off of him. Also, Sheamus doesn't need it. I don't think they actually really care that much about Hardy anymore. I think, you know, it's extreme rules, though, so you should probably put him in. Well, they they need something for the highlight package from the show because nothing else will offer it. So they need at least nothing action. else is going to make it. So they need to put at least something in. So Jeff Hardy's going to get the big move, I think. So Jeff Hardy's going to get the win because I need something different. I, I want Jeff. My heart. No, I, I'd be to nice to see Jeff. Jeff with something before he inevitably leaves and goes to AEW. Yeah, no, I, I want Jeff. Jeff is Hardy. not going. Uh, just kidding. He actually. He, he, he would. Good chance. <laughs> uh, I want to pick Jeff, but it, it just, this is just a match against two former world champions for Priest to be stronger. That, that's all this is. Just adding an extra <laughs> body in there. That's, that's literally all this is. It's, it's, for cool Jeff, it's, it's for Jeff to do a move off a ladder, get taken out of the match, and Seamus to eat the pin is essentially what's going to happen. That's literally <laughs> what is going to happen. You see what but his give name me is? Jeff either way. It's Dickie. All right, Dickie. <laughs> Dicky Ton. Yes, he just pulled a Dicky Ton card. <laughs> He's oh, very man. happy about the name. <laughs> uh, but I pulled no, another I'm, Sammy Sosa in here too. I I like. What year pick. was that? Ninety two. Oh, that was the summer before the steroids. Look at that. Well, before they. Really yeah, well, got he was only bat. Oh wait, this was ninety one, so he was he was only batting two oh three. Yeah, why, <laughs> do think, why do you think the steroids kicked in? <laughs> Um, no, I want to pick Jeff, but I'm, I'm going Damian Priest. That's the sm- smart pick here. Um, let's get into the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, which are the Usos defending their titles against the Street Profits. And the Bloodline is the hottest thing on SmackDown. Hottest thing in wrestling, you can argue. Um, yeah, so they're keeping the, the belts. Usos. Yeah, the Usos, they're keeping yeah. the belts. I'm not even going to try to go against the grain. That's not even going to work. They're just keeping the belts. Yeah. Jesse. Usos. Usos yeah. Like, I feel like if the Bloodline is going to lose their belts, I feel like all of them is going to lose it in one night. Like, I feel like that's how they would do That'd it. Be I don't know. I think I think the Usos will lose it before Roman, but it's really stupid if you give them the belts and then literally have them lose it the next month. Stupid. That would yeah. be bad. And look at this. The, the main event of the card we're up to now. The last match on our docket right here. The match we've all been waiting to predict, you know, um, might be one for the ages. Dave Meltzer did he give this five stars. Liv Morgan versus Carmella. Live this will rival uh, Omega and Danielson oh, from it might Dynamite. Be better, might be even better than that, honestly. It, it, it might be better than, yeah. Um, I really want Liv to get the win, which means Carmella is going to win. That's all I have to say. Uh, I'm going to go with Liv just because I like Liv. That's why. And, and you yeah, know what? give me, yeah. Liv? Same. Oh, just I want the same exact I, card. I we both like Liv and we both want her to win. No, I like her too, but you know I what? wanted I'd rather stay even with Jesse for now instead of changing one of my picks and potentially moving back one. So I'm, I'm gonna keep it too then. Um hey, football is a lot closer than it is wrestling after two weeks. We were fucking in the hold already by two months think, by two pay-per-views. Uh were we? I was. You were <laughs> Gary. Carter I wasn't. Was it started two to one. Jesse won the I tied Jesse with the second pay-per-view. Uh-huh. You, when did you get your first pay per view win? It I wasn't think- it one of the takeovers. It was fast lane. What month was that? February question mark. <laughs> I don't know. Then you didn't get your second one until. <laughs> oh my god! Until Rus- WrestleMania backlash, the pay per view after WrestleMania, <laughs> <laughs> WrestleMania <laughs> in backlash. May, in, or two weeks after Mania. So it was oh, April. thank God I'm better at football picks. 
Yeah, that, that, that's a way to look at it. And guess um, who's the best at both? Oh, you got the best of both worlds. Look at Jesse Hannah Montana <laughs> down there. Hannah Montana. Uh, <laughs> um, well, that does it for this podcast. A short. Justin, give quick... me a full scouting report on Gary Carter, real quick. Uh, oh, he's a Hall of Famer, legend. one of the best catchers of all time. More of an expo than a Met, but hey, oh, whoa, 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 hey, won whoa, a World whoa. Series finally and one of the best all around catchers of all time. Oh, I got him. <laughs> expo or Met? Expo. Ah, oh, nothing. so he, that's his second stint. He went back after the Mets. Yeah, it was after the Dodgers year. Jeez, that's before he went to the Giants, I think. Uh, why? why no, I know- he went to the Giants in '90. Oh, so he retired as an expo then. Okay. Why do I know Gary Carter's career arc? I don't know. I don't even know that. Um, but that does it for this episode of the Sports Department Podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Follow on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Social media is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Sports Dev Pod. The Sports Dept Pod. Football episodes coming like crazy. There was just one released of our week three pick so go check that one out we'll be breaking down week three we'll probably break down this pay-per-view if it's really bad we might just skip that and do an AEW one instead we will see how it goes um wrestling ones that we have to do a draft episode because the draft is next friday too so we might just skip the recap in general and skip on it now though this pay-per-view worst one of the year We'll also get your ratings and stuff, and because I want to do that at the end of the year. What was the yeah. highest rating? What was the lowest rated one by us? So also get the ratings and all that. Um, draft is next Friday on SmackDown, so we might just scrap the rest of the wrestling episodes for the week for, you know, the, the weekend with um, the Grand Slam AEW and uh, Extreme Rules, and just do our little mock drafting with Jesse and I, with Justin as the commissioner this year. So that's coming. Baseball playoffs are right around the corner. So stay tuned to all that fun stuff and we'll see you in the next episode.